So the Lush Liverpool shop has been open for quite a while now, so I thought I'd show you guys some of the products that I recommend checking out. So I think it's only fair to start with the product that I was most excited about was the Wasabi Shan Kui. I think I'm saying that right. And um, I'd heard about this product before they released it and I was quite curious to try it and out of all of the things that Lush Liverpool were coming up with, this was the top of my list. It's a bit different to a normal shampoo because it's quite... Um, I'd say the texture's grainy as it's got quite a lot of sea salt in it and you can actually see the little pieces of wasabi. It's designed for hair that's thin and fine like this hair which does my head in on a daily basis. So I thought I'd give it a go. The smell isn't... It's not the strongest smell, it's a very herbal smelling perfu uh, perfume, it's a very herbal smelling shampoo. So if you're trying to buy one because you think it's going to be like I Love Juicy where it's like a really fruity experience, then this probably isn't the one for you. But if you have thin and fine hair which could use from a bit of thickening up, then I wholeheartedly recommend this. And it's a cool green colour as well, so yeah. On the note of hair care, I also had a quick look through their conditioners and the one that I like the most, as you can probably tell from how much is left in the bottle, is Candy Rain and I definitely need to get a litre bottle when I go back up. Um, I do really like Lush's conditioners, I do like the smells more than like, let's say, the properties of them, so although some are for like greasy hair, some are for... Uh, hair that's quite dry. I just go by smell because I condition my hair quite a lot, which I know I'm not supposed to, but I wash it every day due to work and things like that. And I just like a conditioner that smells nice. So Candy Rain smells, it's kind of like, I'd say a more grown up version of uh, creamy candy. So it is that sweet smell, but it's got something else in there as well, which makes it a more, I don't think the word is sophisticated, but you know what I mean. It's like a, it's like Creamy Candy's older sister was a smell, it would be this. And to be fair, that would be amazing in a body spray. In terms of scents in general, one of my favourite smells is the Yognog smell, which I've got, I think, three bottles of the perfume. I've got some old Yognog soap and I still have a bath bomb and some of the Yognog Yule pickups. <laughs> Yognog Yule logs. I think I've still got a couple of them. So I was more than happy to find Michelle Marbell or Michelle Mabel. I ain't got a clue what that means or what it stands for, but that is a soap with the Yognog scent and this little maze pattern, I don't know if you can see in the front here, this is actually, um, I think it's bubble bar dust, so when you uh, use that side it proper bubbles up and this soap lathers extremely well, so if you're not a fan of the soaps that don't seem to bubble quite a lot and you do like the fan of you like the fan, you do like the smell of Yognog, then I 100% recommend Michelle Marbell, Michelle Mybell soap. From soap to, oh that was wet from the shower, <laughs> from soap to shower jelly, beets. Out of all of the smells, I think beets and, I do like gong actually, that's the smell of golden pear, but this shower gel, shower jelly, I was using in the shower and I was like, I really recognise the scent and I couldn't put my finger on it for ages and I kept smelling it and you know when you look, click something familiar until someone posted saying that this was the same smell as the maypole soap which incidentally is one of my favourite soaps so no doubt that had to go in my top, top I was going to say top 10 but top products there's not much else I can tell you really about it shower jelly, it's black and glittery and it smells like maypole and it's very minty and very great in this horrible hot weather we're having at the minute so I recommend Beats, I was about to call it Maple. I uh, totally forgot there was three more hair care products that I also was going to recommend, so I'll put them in now, shall I? I was going to try keep it to like body, to like bath, to like hair, but evidently that plan's gone completely out the window, so back to hair care. You might have seen Lush brought out a range of hair serums. They brought out three. I think one was called Shield, which was to protect your hair from heat damage. One was called Willow the Wisp, which is this lovely blue coloured one. And one was called Gains, which is a, a hair spray, a protein spray, as opposed to hold your hair up spray. Um, I got all three and I've tried all three of them. Shield, Shield is okay. Um, I think it's more so for people straightening their hair and blow drying their hair quite a lot. I think that's when the benefits of it will be most apparent. However, these two I'm in love with. This one smells incredible and it's really fruity and if anyone knows what the scent is, please do leave it below in the comments because I can't put my finger on that one as well. When I get out of the shower, alternate days it seems, sometimes I'll spray this on my hair and then blow dry it and sometimes if I want my hair to spike up a bit more, I would use uh, Willow the Wisp. So this one, rub between your hands and then you rub it through your hair and 
I don't know for people with longer hair, I don't know what it would do to you per se, however, if I blow dry my hair after using this, it kind of stands up by itself. Not enough to not require hair gel or hairspray, but it kind of stands up ready for me to put some product in. So I actually find that if I use Willow the Wisp, I'm actually using less hair gel and hair product to get my hair in the style I want. So for example, today, I've put two pumps of this in before uh, blow dry my hair and then literally half, even probably even less than half of the amount of hair gel I'd normally use to get my hair to stand up. So that's pretty cool and it smells all right as well. It smells all right, it smells quite nice, but it doesn't smell as nice as this. Which to be fair, if I look at the ingredients, what have we got? Um, jackfruit puree, fresh wheat grass, uh, da -da -da, clove bud oil, Brazilian orange oil, Sicilian lemon, vanilla absolute. Unless it's the jackfruit, that is the smell of this, but I just can't place it. It smells... Someone said it's the smell of another Lush product, but they didn't say which one it is, so it potentially shares its scent family with something else in the range, but um, I'll keep you posted until I find out, unless one of you know already. Those two products kind of slide quite nicely into the next product. Lush have hair gels, they've got hair styling creams, they've got um, hair, like your standard hair stuff, but they never had an actual hairspray until Hairdresser's Husband came out. And on a side note, uh, Hedros's Husband is one of my favourite scents from Lush. I've got a really old... Do you remember those uh, black glass bottles that they used to have right in the beginning? Well, not right in the beginning, but quite a few years back. I've got one of them, of Hairdresser's Husband, and I really want to get the 100ml bottle next time I go up to Liverpool, but I think it's quite pricey. I think it's £125. So I don't know if I can justify it, but I do really, really love it. But, thankfully, the Hairdresser's Husband hairspray smells exactly the same. Um... Being honest, I was quite reluctant because I didn't think I didn't think it would hold my hair as well as it does. Like the hairspray I use normally is, um, you know, that got to be. You can see it in Superdrug. It's in like a bright yellow bottle. Uh, I normally use that, and it's like two pound. And I was like, you know what? I'll try this and give it a go. And I am pleasantly impressed. One puff of this, so one spray I use on my whole head every morning, and it smells absolutely amazing. And the hold is really nice as well. Um, I do think it's pretty cool that instead of having to replace this top part of the hairspray, you can literally just get a refill, so you can get another one of these for, it's a slightly reduced price, so I guess you don't pay for the production of the nozzle again. And it was pretty simple to set up, I did think I broke it at first because maybe I did twist it in a bit too tight, but um, yeah, I really like this and I love the smell, I don't know what's actually in it to keep your hair up. The main ingredient is DRF alcohol and polyvinyl propylidone PVP, which I presume that is the holding ingredient. But um, yeah, I actually really like this, and I think when I next go up to Lush Liverpool, I'll get a couple of these, and this this is what I'll use instead of your conventional high street hairspray. So, um, well done Lush, this was a product that we've needed for quite a while. So in terms of body products, the two that I'm really liking at the moment is, if I can say this right, Aurora Borealis, which is an in-shower scrub, which is, it just smells, oh, it just smells amazing, which obviously everything from Lush does, but it's just such a unique and different smell, and I don't think, I don't think I've smelt it before in terms of previous fragrances Lush have brought out, but it smells quite herbal and violet-y, and obviously it's cool coloured and currently all over my floor, but I like that one. And the other one that I would, would have to completely recommend you pick up is it's in here in a little wrap. So I don't want to get it out because I probably will get it all over the floor. But it's called Mud and it's a body mask and it shares the scent of Cupcake Face Mask. And it is really nice and nourishing. I've used two of these, so this is my third one. And all you do is get it wet, rub it all over yourself. And of course my camera chose that moment to die. So I think what I said was get it wet and rub it all over yourself, which is where I left it on. And uh, basically, it basic basically, it basically, basically, um, it's like a really deep cleansing mask that you put all over your body. And I kind of put it on, kind of step to the side in the shower, wash my hair and everything, and then get back in so it gives it time to absorb. And it's just lovely. It does make a mess because it's made out of mud. It's the same as washing the cupcake face mask off your face. So just make sure you've got plenty of water and avoid any white towels until you've completely washed the mud mask off. And the last three recommendations that I have that you check out from Liverpool are actually uh, fragrances. 
So the first one is a smell that I didn't like in the product, but on its own as a fragrance I absolutely love, and that is the Prince Body Spray. So I didn't even realise at first that this was the smell of the Prince uh, shaving cream, which I didn't like when I worked at Lush and I didn't like the smell. However, pop it in a body spray and I think it's amazing. So I don't know if it's in a different format, why I like it more, but I do really like the smell of this. It's quite cool and refreshing, especially in, um, in the summer. So I take this with me to work actually. And so if it's really busy on the ambulance, oh yeah, side note. Um, I decided I didn't want to be a nurse anymore and I wanted to be a paramedic so I'll explain that in another video but um, in the ambulance if I get a bit hot and sweaty in between jobs then I do spray a bit of this underneath my ambulance shirt uh, oh yeah forgot that I've been gone a while and that hasn't been mentioned but yeah all will be revealed shortly but I like prints the other two are actual perfumes well obviously perfumes but as opposed to body spray and they are on top of my mirror up there, so I'm just going to go grab them. Um, oh, on a side note, Fantabulosa um, isn't one of my absolute favourites, however, the colour is beautiful. It's like a little light blue and it looks amazing, especially up against the light. And let's return back down to Earth. Hi. Hi. Oh, oh. Yeah, we'll go for that. So the two fragrances that I recommend you either get, like spray them on yourself in the store because obviously Lush um, fragrances react differently to different people's skin and smell slightly different on everyone, are Junk and Blackcurrant Angel. So Junk, the easiest way that I can compare this is to, you know those cherry throat sweets that you get when you're sick, cherry lockets? That's the sort of smell, there's a menthol smell and a cherry smell and I love it. It just smells... It's such like a warming smell and I would like this in a body lotion or a body spray but uh, the Junk perfume is one definitely to check out. I think if I remember right this bottle was £69 for the 100ml which is the big size perfume. But if you're a fan of cherry smells and if you love like cherry lockets then you'll love this. And lastly Blackcurrant Angel. Blackcurrant Angel was released I think at one of the showcases and although I managed to smell it I don't think they were selling it or it must have sold out but either way I didn't get a bottle of it at the showcase but I thought I'd give it another go and smell it and I fell in love with it. I really like the whole Comforter scent family and although this doesn't share the scent with the Comforter you can definitely smell the blackcurrant in it and I think that is the smell that drives me towards it. It's got a blackcurrant -y initial I don't see I'm not very let's say technological with like the top notes base notes it just the initial smell you get is a quite fresh black currently smell and then it settles to a quite musky like I, w I would say almost floral but mm, it's really nice this one probably is more suited to wear in the evening or when it's slightly cooler whereas junk and prints I would say are better for hot weather um, dirty obviously body spray perfect for this kind of weather when it's hot and sticky, a spray of that and you feel instantly refreshed. But um, obviously that you can get from all stores and not just the Lush Liverpool. So I think, um, I think they're the things I like the most. I'm interested to see what they come out with next and I'm quite looking forward to the Christmas range which, when does that come out? I think september -y time so hopefully there'll be some decent products in that which obviously Lush Christmas is amazing every year but there are some ones that I'm hoping that they do actually make and it'd be nice if they came up with some perfumes, that'd be cool, like exclusive Christmas perfumes. But again, who am I? <laughs> who am I to say? I no longer work for Lush, so it's all just hoping and keeping my fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, they're the products I recommend checking out from Lush uh, Liverpool. I do want to go up again shortly, or shortly, sometime in the near future, because there are a couple more bits I want to try. I want to just have another smell of Hairdresser's Husband, because I'm using my little black glass one really, really sparingly. Liverpool I can get to in about two and a half hours, so it's not miles and miles away, but um, but yeah, I'm going to pop back up there. Oh, they sell, they sell plants. I just forgot about that. So downstairs I have, um, I think I've got three plants from Lush Liverpool and they are absolutely adorable. I'm just going to take you down now with my camera and show you them and that's how I'll end the video. But um, they're lovely and I think they're such a cute addition and I wish they sold them at All Stars. And talking to plants, the Lush Japan store, um, oh, I can't remember where it is, 
but they sell these like little balls um, which are tied up and have plants growing out and I think they're awesome so hopefully they will come over to the UK soon but um, cheers for watching and I'll catch you guys again next time but to end the video I'll take you downstairs and show you those little lush plants but um, yeah thank you for welcoming me back so lovely it was really nice to see all your comments and I guess you're stuck with me now so um, click subscribe and I'll see you again next week so that's one of the plants I have from Lush that says lucky to have you. Ah, that one also says lucky to have you. And then life without you, life would suck up without you. And obviously it is a, if my autofocus work, no, manual focus. It is a little succulent. So they're really cool. And I think they were like 6 95 so absolute bargain. So that one, that one, and that one. And that one's not from Lush. But yeah, they're pretty sick.